all right and hello guys today i'm going to be showing you the difference to what extent the clock speed of your cpu reflects your performance in minecraft uh specifically the frames per second you can achieve um for this test i'm going to take results um, i'm going to monitor the fps using fraps for 60 seconds three times at four gigahertz at uh, 1.29908 volts, um, grab those results, and then afterwards I'm going to overclock to 4.5 at 1.3 uh, volts, and I'm going to take that and compile it into a graph to show you guys on screen uh, once I'm done. Uh, I'm going to be using Minecraft uh, Optifine HD underscore U. Uh, underscore D5 which is uh, Optifine for Minecraft 1.8 I've allocated 12 gigabytes of GDR3 1866 megahertz cast latency 10 RAM to Minecraft uh, these tests are in full screen mode with uh, no GUI or no HUD on screen rather uh, meaning F1 mode and once I uh, I get all that done I will be back to you guys to show you the results. Alright, so after testing at each frequency three times for 60 seconds, um, I've taken here the maximum FPS, the highest of the three runs for each uh, clock speed, minimum FPS, the lowest of the three ones for each clock speed, and average the average of all three averages averaged out. So you hear, see here for 4 gigahertz, uh, the max FPS we got was 1,142, minimum 678, and the average was of a pretty comfortable 1,104 FPS. Whereas at 4.5 gigahertz, we had a slightly lower, uh, 5 FPS lower max FPS at 1137. Minimum FPS at 4.5 gigahertz, we had... <laughs> Our lowest point was exactly 199 FPS higher than at 4 gigahertz, and our average was a comfortable 11 FPS higher than at 4 gigahertz, which puts us at 1,115. Um, if we go ahead and grab our results, you'll see here that I've compiled the graph. Our average FPS has gone up by 11 FPS, by overclocking to 4.5 gigahertz, our minimum FPS got up by 199 FPS by overclocking to 4.5, and our maximum FPS dropped by 5 by overclocking. So, maximum FPS I feel doesn't really matter. This number at the top is what should be to you the most important. The average did go up by overclocking. So, this is inconclusive proof not really I did not have a controlled environment I did have the same programs open the same just uh, fraps I had my minecraft and that was pretty much it open the entire time I was always in full screen resolution to test always with the HUD off lowest settings looking at the same object at the same time of day in minecraft peaceful mode so no mobs this was really as controlled as this environment could have been. So, there you go. There is a, uh, albeit small, benefit to overclocking your CPU to uh, attain more frames per second in Minecraft. So, with that, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you found it useful, leave a like. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.